a Dread Fun original production. Please sit back and enjoy. Hey guys, Dread Fun here with another one of my video uploads. Uh, I haven't uploaded anything cryptid related to my channel in a while, so here we go. Uh, a while back, uh, Chris from the 40 and Slip contacted me and wanted me to do an illustration uh, and sort of got me interested in this whole bunny man myth and legend, the urban legend, whatever you want to call it. If you're not familiar, uh, it, it basically it, it centers around two main in, in, incidents, uh, incidences that happened back in the 1970s where um, I guess the first was uh, there was a couple parking and talking. Uh, I guess that's code for making out and doing the nasty. Either way, and uh, somebody smashed through their window, and kind of there's different variations of people. Uh, the one person said that they didn't really see anybody. The other person said they saw what they thought was somebody dressed in white. Either way, there wasn't anything to do with uh, a real bunny image. Uh, I guess the person might have shouted out something about trespassing. And then there was another incident uh, where uh, a person dressed in a black and gray bunny suit was uh, hacking away at somebody's porch with a machete or I guess an axe, I think it was an axe, or a hatchet, and uh, was going on about people trespassing and how uh, if they don't get out of here he's going to bust them upside the head. And, uh, you know, other urban tales, so uh, our other urban versions of a man in a bunny suit. Um, like I said, the original tale, I wrote it down here, took place uh, back in Fairfax County, Virginia. And a lot of them sent around, uh, you see in the illustration, there's a bridge uh, sort of overpass. It's the Gloss, uh, or Colchester overpass, which is near Clifton, apparently. And this is where a lot of these other sightings have happened, where they've seen spectral forms of a bunny man and all that stuff and it's just really weird stuff and kind of neat and I don't know if this is one of those uh, ley line crap things where you know it's a central location and people going there anticipate that they're going to see this sort of bunny man thing and um, you, you, you get what out of it what you put into it I guess so I, I don't know if it's that case where something is really going on and people are interpreting it like that or if there is really a psycho bunny man ghost running around hacking people's kittens. I don't know. Anyways, I'm drawing this image. Uh, again, yeah, it shows uh, the bunny man, how I am doing a take on it, even though in most sighting descriptions it's not really a pink bunny. I think for the visual effect it, it, it stands out more. Um, I created a sort of a mask that fits over top, so it's kind of like a mask that he would wear over top with the bunny ears sort of flopping around and kind of have a creepy look to it. And I got him, you know, Killing a small animal, I believe it's a cat, because in one of the sightings there's some of it a dead cat. I don't know. Anyways, had a lot of fun doing this in my comic style. Uh, really focusing on the gray tones. With this one, I didn't watercolor it except for the bunny part where I used the pink. Mostly it's just done in gray tones using my Indian ink water uh, proof ink. So I hope you guys like this video. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out some of these Bunny Man mystery uh, thing for yourselves. Anyways, drive fun out. This has been a DreadFun.com production. Thanks for watching.